He wasn't sure why he suddenly felt the need to narrate. He could almost convince himself that he was doing it. Who are you? Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. Not long, a couple of months maybe. But we did care for each other. No, no one. She was really popular. Yeah, I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five. I'm playing football. It's just five aside. Uh, I called her, but she never picked up. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted the rotor to focus on the music. Soothing quality to it. It managed to chase away the silence. Any more news on Oscar Wainwright? Yep, that's what you told me too. Not a suspect. Just the tarot readers. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. Uh, Dorota's an only child. She lived with her mum and dad. Monday night was movie night, so they'd go and watch the 8 o'clock at the Odeon. Dorota would get the house to herself. They're devastated, naturally. They left town to stay with relatives. They didn't do it, Sam. Well, uh, perhaps I should have made them stay. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. Oscar's not a suspect. He was playing football last night with lots of witnesses. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. And was unable to discern. We're on a wavelength that couldn't be picked up by a microphone, or he was indeed going insane. He wasn't sure which was scarier. He had, however, showed Dr. Utani the etchings he had copied, much to her delight and gratitude. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? The masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? She flaunts herself. Her body had boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother. Not really, just gossip. Apparently she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. Weston's photographic, Zack Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, somebody's going to get upset.
Zach's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's Photographic, off the high road. It's late, but he's always there. I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. Reply. Without knowing what came over him, Dimitri yelled out in frustration and fear. Hi Sam, back for more already. Oh, yeah, that's right. All these rooms look the same. Sorry. I was in Bron's room. Ask her. No, I think Bron met him, though. This morning, he only wanted to see her. I guess he didn't want anyone else to hear what he had to say. I mean to help him. It was then that he heard the voices again whispering to him. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. Fine. Jeeve Dupont was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically it'd be true. To protect Lexi. None of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry Sam, I, I never usually lie. Rain's a big boy, he can handle himself. Besides, I'd be highly suspicious if Rain claimed to be doing anything else other than reading on a mundane night. That's pretty much all he does every night. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. He confided in me quite a bit, actually. He seemed to appreciate having someone to talk to and he knew I couldn't tell anyone what he said. You should talk to him yourself. He's a lovely lad. Dimitri said, his eyes wide with fear. Dr. Remington looked at the others in confusion, then at Dimitri. How did- Sam, what can I do for you? We're trying to save people. We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. It's Lexi's thing. I don't personally go near them, but in this case, it did help. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing, or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest.
Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... <laughs> well, let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. You don't believe me. Well, ask Lexi or Bron. They've got their own ideas, but my theory is definitely the more plausible. You, that a tower does in fact symbolize a quest for understanding. Understanding? And climbing stairs. Oh, it's just your run of the mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Cool, okay. So, Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? I understand. You've got people to see, places to go. I didn't. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? It was only a little white lie, nothing else. It wasn't even that much of a lie. We're both here, in the guest house. We just happen to be in different rooms. If I had proof, Bron wouldn't have made this all up. I'm sorry, Sam, I really am. I know how this must look, but I couldn't kill anything, honest. Traveller? That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Cheeky. Are you flirting with me? God, I'm such a bad judge of character. Just ignore me. Thing if not patient, ever present. It's Lexi's. I like to think it works the way most metaphysical things work, through energy. Tarot cards, runes, Ouija boards, they're just devices for asking questions and receiving answers, but energy is what powers them. A hollow home for the whispers to rest. Demon. The demon would grow stronger, too big for its stolen place, pushing lungs out of the way until breathing hurts. That's personal. I said I don't want to talk about it. No, not to me anyway. She wasn't into fortune telling or any of that stuff. 
Yeah, Chief DuPont told me. He thinks it's one of them that killed her. Bronwyn? That's disturbing. Not impossible. I don't think those two ever met. Why would she say that? What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet, and I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Not hidden. Well, she liked it. Liked me to watch. Not, not other guys. Just, she had these, you know, voyeur fantasies. She'd ask me to hide in the upstairs closet, and then she'd walk in, strip off, start touching herself. She got upset if I came out before she'd finished. I'm sorry, is this helping with the investigation? The clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. It's seven o'clock and here's the latest August update. Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. I'm not going anywhere. That's seven o'clock with Poe and Monroe. ready to spread. The blood stained the porcelain and he relished in it. The pain let go. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. <laughs> yes, uh, what do you want? I already told the police she did all those things of her own accord. I didn't force her to do anything. Oh! The road to shore. Sorry, I'm afraid I didn't know her that well. For the August Chronicle, uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. No, I went to her house, along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. If you ask me to drive there without my sat-nav, no. No, actually, I've been running a special offer on portraits since she came in for a studio session. As you can see, there's photos here. Her on the cello. Yeah. Now this one's in colour. Beautiful hair. Oh, legs wrapped around. <laughs> Another one here. Oh, hang on. 
Do you see what I see? Nothing. She's just a very attractive girl. That's all. What do you mean? I don't think I like what you're implying, detective. Is that all? Friends, yes, I know Violet very well. Violet takes it very well, actually. I like him like that. With a frosty exterior comes a soft, warm center. I'm sorry my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes, we have sex. Here. I'm usually here most nights. Only the roof rats. The shop is now closed.